views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of the station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Artie is renowned psychic medium, spiritual life coach, and entertaining motivational speaker. Sky's given talent of inner guidance gives her the ability to interpret feelings and images impressed upon her by the spirit world. Call now for answers from your guardian angels and loved ones at 800 930 2819. And now, here are your hosts, Artie and Sky. everybody and welcome back to another week of angels and answers with your friends sky siegel and artie hoffman how are you art hey what's going on everybody um this week you want to know something i was thinking about i was thinking about this week we would talk about um morning there's different morning processes oh, you're telling me about, you know, when uh, you lose a loved one, there's many different mourning processes. And a lot of people deal with mourning in so many different ways. Uh, you know, there's a difference when you mourn your parents. There's a difference when you mourn a friend, when you mourn your significant other, your child. Um, you know, there's a difference. Your, diff- your pets. There's a, there's a difference. Uh, mourning a relationship. You know, there's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference when, uh, is it, you know, sudden death? There's a difference when, um, there's a, what to call it, um, where somebody is, is, you know, if they're sick for a long, long time, you have time to prepare. Um, and, and it's, like I said, it, it could be very, very difficult, uh, for some people, um, well, it's difficult for everyone, uh, I should say, yeah. but it's it's difficult to deal with it. And, you know, and uh, some people don't want to discuss it. Um, other people want to keep on talking about it. Um, other people uh, want to go to bereavement groups. Uh, they want to talk to a therapist. Uh, there's all different um, things going on with each person. It. It, it depends what your it's relationship, personal. It's, it's a personal. personal matter. There's no protocol as far as what's right, right and what's wrong as far as a mourning process. And I'm going to tell you something else, folks. There's no protocol in the length of time that you take to fully mourn your loved one, whether it be a pet or a relative, a child, a spouse, a, a relationship. There's no set time. When you hear people say, oh, enough already, you've mourned enough. No. If you feel in your heart you haven't mourned enough, then you haven't, okay? And don't let anybody force you to stop because you have to go through your own personal journey, your own personal process. I'm speaking not from, I'm speaking from the heart is what I'm speaking from. I've lost a lot of people in my life that were very significant to me. I've lost my brother. I've lost my son. I've lost some of my best pets. You know, and you say, oh, well, how could you... How could you compare pets to loved ones? Well, they are loved ones. They're children. They're fuzzy children who you'd care for and nurture and love. Oh, people love their pets more than they love their own family. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Some my family I love more than my pets. Love I love more of my pets than them. But no, I'm going to tell you this. Um, it is a very personal process. It is a very lengthy process. And it's something, honestly, don't let anybody tell you, you never get over. It's just something you never get over. But what you can do is put it at one point or another, put it in a certain place where you can start carrying on your everyday life again and start having some normalcy to yourself and to the loved ones that you have still here. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. So just to let you know that, you know, um, a lot of times it's normal to feel alone even when you have, you know, people around. A lot of times, 
you know, kids try to overcompensate uh, to their mother or to their father when they lost someone. And um, when you lose a significant other, you know, especially, you know, if you have that deep, passionate love, you know, some people are thrilled, (laughs) (laughs) you know, but um, but there are others that when you know you when you've been with somebody for 20, 30, 50 years, whatever, and you lose that significant other, you know, there's that deep, deep emptiness. And um, it's very difficult. So a lot of people, uh, meaning their kids or friends, you know, will try to overcompensate uh, by try, you know, over doting to them, you know, over giving to them. And, and it's nothing. Sometimes it's just having a warm body. Right. Sometimes it's just simply having a warm body. Yes. And I want to tell you, um, <coughs> well, hold on just one second. All right. Sometimes it's just simply having a warm body as far as, you know, being there for someone who you love without, you know, without having to uh, do anything special, uh, but just being there and just showing that you care, Um, you know, uh, inviting friends over for dinner, inviting, you know, uh, people who you care about who lost a loved one over. Uh, Sometimes people don't even want to be bothered. They'd rather just be alone. And that's okay. You know, I feel for a while, um, you know, there's a lot of times where, um, you know, people, uh, like I said, they just want to be alone or they just uh, sometimes they do want the company, but they're afraid to ask. Um, But checking up on someone just to say, hey, I was thinking of you. Are you okay, or do you want anything? So. If you have spirituality, you can always turn to your spirituality because that really does help quite a bit. And I feel as though when you go to a medium, I know that being a medium myself, I went to a very good medium, a medium's medium, and I went there and she helped me dramatically. And I know through myself and my own readings that I have helped so many grieving parents and so many grieving spouses uh, and and it, it made me not feel good to have to, you know, to have to bring this up, but it made me feel good in a way that I was able to put their minds at ease, that their loved one was is well and happy and watching over them. And I gave them evidential evidence that they, yes, they were there last Thursday and they did see you go into the grocery store and pick up sugar and eggs and milk. You know, and those are things that really make people's heart open and make them calm in knowing that, oh, my God, you know what? I may not be able to see that person, but they're still here with me. They see me. And that really, really makes you feel better. I know it made me feel better knowing all I know, speaking to the dead constantly every day. And still I needed that that validation, that reassurance, that reassurance that my loved one was in the same way, is is doing the same thing. Because you know what? We have ego. And I was afraid that the ego was getting in the way of my hearing. And it wasn't. I was hearing him tell me that everything was fine. I was hearing him say to me that he was with me when this and that happened. But I had to have that validation from a stranger. And it did me so well. It did, it did, it did so much for me. It certainly started the healing process, knowing that at least I know he's around me. And, and, and I do recommend people who have lost uh, loved ones to go see a medium. Go see a good medium that's going to set your mind straight that that loved one of yours is still around. There are times when even, you know, when you get messages from a medium, um, I've said at times. I've said many a times that uh, nothing shy of even when we come up with exact uh, situations or names or whatever, that uh, nothing shy of your loved one walking through that door sometimes doesn't satisfy. You know, they fall right into a depression. And, um, you know, like I said, it's hard. It's hard. But knowing that we could give uh, some kind of solace, you know, people like – Sky, I forgot your name for a second. Uh, people like Sky and I, you know, um, who, uh, you know, give answers to people or give confirmations to people. Um, 
You know, what I also recommend is that when people lose somebody who they love, if you if you write a letter, if you write a letter to your loved one, um, it's a very healing. It's a strong healing process when you write a letter to a loved one who has passed away. And while you're writing, while you're writing in that moment, you're going to start to imagine as if they are speaking to you. Only that's just not your imagination. That's them really speaking to you. So, you know, uh, also what I also recommend is that if you wear an article of clothing of theirs um, to bed, uh, you know, a shirt I did or, or a quilt or something, and, you know, you have that essence of them, you know, all around you, Um you know, uh, spraying their cologne or their perfume on their clothes, um, just one spritz and don't, don't do an overkill, <laughs> you know, yeah. and just, like I said, and just lay it across your body. Um, you know, personally, you know, there are some people who don't want to get rid of anything, which is an overkill. You know, you have 50,000 pieces of clothing or, you know, everything that you ever got ever since forever. Um, you know, I feel like, uh, I don't know. There's there's a couple of ways to heal. There's a few different ways to heal. Um, I feel like a bereavement group is good, but only at the beginning um, where you could speak your mind, you could speak your thoughts. Uh, but going to a bereavement group week after week after week after week after week, I feel like uh, it gets a little difficult when you're constantly listening to other people talk about their loved ones who have passed away. At first, it's comforting because you feel like you're not alone. But when you are listening to it week after week, it could be, you know, a little depressing. So um, get you into a more of a depression. Uh, music also helps a lot in regards to, you know, helping heal. When uh, I highly recommend that you don't listen to sad songs or depressing songs or, you know, that's, I don't know. That's very depressing, I feel. And, um, you know, it's very good to get out of the house. People who have been, um, you know, with one partner for a while, uh, the thought of possibly being with someone else uh, could also be, um, there's the thought of that could be devastating. But we're going to talk more about this and uh, we'll be able to take in your calls at um, 800 930 2819. So stick around, everybody, because Artie and Sky, we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Tune in to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Claire Florence, Artie Hoffman, and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. 
Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Welcome back, everybody, to Angels and Answers with Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. You know, folks, this is a little bit of a solemn um, topic today, but it's something that really needs to be addressed. And, and we don't want to sound like bummers or downers or anything like that, but there's a lot of people out there that are suffering right now, and it's a big, big thing for them. So it might sound a little bit suppressing, but it needs to be spoken about. Um, people just need to know that they're not alone. Right. And that it is an important topic and a lot, everybody else goes on with their life. And, um, you know, even when people lose, um, a child, meaning like, uh, at birth that, you know, when the, uh, miscarriage. Lose, a miscarriage, yes. So, you know, it's, you know, it, it's difficult and, um, you know, so it's like, and they have no one to turn to. And uh, it's definitely much harder for the uh, woman than it is for the husband oh, because yeah. they're carrying it. You're expecting it, you know, um, and it could be very difficult. So um, but we just wanted to let everyone know that, you know, you're not alone. You're not alone. And that, you know, we do understand. And, um, you know, if you wanted to email Sky and to talk about it or if you wanted to set up a session with Sky about it, just call at nine nine zero eight five hundred. 1474, or you could call me at 877-ANGEL-02, and we could do sessions uh, over the phone and not necessarily just, you know, in person. We're both in New Jersey, and um, hey, it's a great place, baby. It so, is a great place. I tell you. Next I place, best to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I'd like to be in Hawaii, uh, yeah. I think. <laughs> this is true. I think Hawaii is the closest to heaven. But anyway, guys. So, you know, for me, on a personal note, I did not want to go to bereavement groups because I felt that nothing that anybody could say to me could make me feel better because I was going through this heartache. And you know what? You could say a million things to a million people, but until you accept what has happened and put it in a place, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. That's me. That's me. But then again, you know, I'm from Missouri. I'm from the I'm from the show me state. Right. But. No, I never wanted to go. My kids had suggested that I go and speak to people like light minded. But, you know, it didn't, I, did, I told them there is nobody in this world that could say anything to bring him back. So what's the point? I've got to get over it myself and I've got to put it in the right position. I've got to put it in the right place and I have to take my time in grieving. And, you know, folks, it's been six years now and I'm still grieving. I'm still going to be not as bad as I was, but every day there's tears every day. And it's sad to say, but it is true. And they give us our signs, you know, through uh, messages, through um, through finding <laughs> coins, uh, through uh, seeing the red cardinals, the butterflies, the ladybugs. Uh, thank you. I just found a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> That's a nice thing. You know, no, but, uh, you know, there's all kinds of signs. Sometimes uh, you're going to smell the scent of cigarettes. Uh, you're going to smell the scent of what they used to wear as far as their perfume or cologne. Um, you heard their voice. 
yeah. uh, in the middle of the night or while you were driving. You just heard it out of nowhere. The I did that one. Too. The electricity is going to blow in and out. You know, we'll turn it on and off. Um, you know, all of a sudden your cabinets will be open. Uh, you'll be here knocking on the door. The doorbell's going to be ringing and you don't even have electricity over there and right. it doesn't even work, but yet it's still ringing. I, I just heard that last week. That was cool. You know something? Uh, one day I was sitting on the couch and I had nobody in the house. There was nobody in the house and I'm sitting there and I'm just meditating. And all of a sudden I hear ma in my son's voice out of my head, not inside of my head. It was the best day of my life. Because I knew he was there and I knew he was showing me he was there. And he was doing it not from the inside of my brain, but from the outside. So my ears can hear it. So, you know, folks, whoever's going through this stuff now, no, they're not, they're not gone. They're not gone. So um, a lot of times people say, well, how come they're visiting them, but they're not visiting me, meaning your other relatives or friends or whatnot. And sometimes when someone is grieving so bad or they have a hard time of acceptance um, or you're very frightened or, you know, it could, there could be, a few, you know, many different reasons why you're not experiencing your loved one coming to visit you. You know, at times they come to visit in the middle of the night where you're in that in-between state of like being asleep or being up. Um, you're in that in-between state and all of a sudden that's when they come to appear. Um, a lot of times, as Sky was explaining to me last week, which a lot of you experience, a lot of times you'll see people or situations in your peripheral vision. Yes. As soon as you turn, they're gone, but the, they only appear in their peripheral vision, which I think is crazy. <laughs> like why it. just in the peripheral vision yeah. and all of a sudden, why? you know, that's really crazy. That's, that's a mystery. But you know what? I'm so grateful for it because what I see, what I'm seeing in my peripheral vision is extremely clear. There's no getting past it. Uh, right now we have somebody on the line. Uh, who do we got? Irene from Tom's River. Irene from Tom's River. Hi, Irene. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Doing good. Doing good. How are you? Are we going to talk about life or death? <laughs> um, probably about death. Um, it's it's a coincidence that I'm calling. It's my first time calling in, but I recently just lost a pet of 15 years a week and a half ago. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time dealing with it. Thank you. Um, he had uh, seizures. Uh, every, anything impossible, the health issues and stuff. And I'm just having a really hard time, you know, getting through it. Um, I stay in my pajamas all day. I don't go out of the house. Oh, that's not um, having trouble. Yeah, I'm supposed to be looking for a job. and <laughs> Yeah. It's common to go through what you're going through. And uh, one of the biggest decisions to make is when we have to put down our pets when that time comes. Ah, and it really exactly. is. It's a blessing um, to the pet. Our ego wants to keep it going forever and ever. But it's very bittersweet because if we keep them going, they're sick and they're hurting. Right. And yet we want them right. to be around. But yet we know in our soul that it's the best thing to let them go into heaven so it can go out and play again. Right. So it's just very difficult right. to let go of something or someone that we love so much. You know, being a mom, Irene, you treat these mm -hmm. dogs, these pups. I always call my dog, no matter how old he was, a puppy. I, I call my fuzzy sons. Uh, you know, you're a mother and you treat these fuzzy sons like your own children because they're helpless without you. Really. And they're always right. in the toddler stage, even when they get to be 30. So, you know, they're always that baby hanging around you that gives you unconditional love. And it is very heartbreaking to have to make the decision to go ahead and put your pet down. Now, I just went through this in uh, August. I had an amazing uh, Neapolitan Mastiff and he came down with bone cancer. And I asked my angels because I am so not one for putting an animal down, but I knew that this was serious. So I asked my angels if they would give me one day when it came to the right time of a sign so that I know that I'm not doing it on my own accord, that you're telling me, yes, Sky, it's the right time. That morning, nobody knew. <clears throat> I had sat in the cage with him. It's a big cage, and I sat in the, in the family room with him. And I saw a teardrop fall from his left eye. And if that wasn't a sign that it was time, nothing was. So I called the vet and he did it in my house. I I was with him. 
Um, his head was in my hands. I was kissing him. He took his last breath at 525 and he peacefully faded into the spirit world. But before he left, I told him, please don't hang around here. Go with your big brother, Michael. That's my son. Go with your big brother, Mikey. Go have fun and go, go do everything you couldn't do here. And um, I feel as though he does visit me. I see him through my peripheral vision. I see him climbing up on the sofa. I see him walking around the house. I even trip over him sometimes. I'm tripping over my own feet. <laughs> and, I, I, I want to ask Irene, um, w have you experienced your pet um, in any way uh, after your pet passed? Um, not in the beginning. Like I kept just telling him to come around before he did pass. I just kept saying, now when it's time to go, just let us know. We don't want you to suffer, but just make sure you come and visit us. Um, I do take my phone and I'll take a video around the house and I'll see the orbs come flying through wherever we're sitting. Oh, that's so, cool. that's I know he's around. Yeah. We picked up his ashes, um, last Friday. So that kind of helps. Yeah, um, that does help. I but I have five other cats, so it's been they're acting a little weird, fighting with each other. And well, yeah, the big <laughs> boss is not around. <laughs> that, you know what the, he was? He was. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. So. You know what? You have to. I I took pictures of him while he was sick. I took pictures of him the day that he was put down, and when I look at those pictures. I say to myself, why did I wait? Because I see from the pictures, not when he was going through it, but in the pictures, I see the suffering in his face and in his eyes. And I'm kind of mad at myself that I waited so long. But I waited for angels to give me, you know, the go ahead. But I see the right. difference. I see the difference. And the only thing we can do is keep them close to our hearts and close to our memories. And when we're missing them, ask them to come visit. They'll be there. Just ask them. They're, they're so pure. They're so pure. They'll be there. No fears. No worries. He'll come visit you when you want him. And I hope that you do time. put it in. <laughs> what, honey? I said all the time. I'd want him to come visit all the time. <laughs> I know. But I know, I know he's know. playing up there, so that, that rainbow you know, bridge. Yeah, yeah, time does does have a way of healing. Uh, the wounds, it might not be, you know, a hundred percent, but it definitely, you know, heals the wounds. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, like I said, everybody has their own time as far as when they mourn, um, staying inside all the time not at the, good. yeah, not good at the very beginning. It's understandable, but you have to, right. you know, stretch yourself out and, you know, go for walks or, you know, go to the park or go to the beach or, you know, see a good movie, just try to get more in the upbeat. And, and when I say this, I'm not saying to uh, neglect uh, the, the sorrow, the feelings that you're feeling for your pet, but, it, but you can't stay, you can't allow yourself to stay there. Otherwise it could really hurt you. But right now we got to go to a commercial break. So stick around everybody. Cause Sky and I, we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers with Artie Hoffman, as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 
On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Claire Florence, Artie Hoffman, and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Tune in to Dynamics of Diversity Radio, scripting the new narrative for immigration with leading experts, Kripa Upadhyay and Steve Tanijo on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This show will remove the noise that often accompanies discussions on this topic and share a new perspective on the dynamics of immigration and diversity, ever reminding us that together we are all at the core of innovation, excellence, and positive change. Visit OrbitLawPLLC.com for upcoming topics. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Angels and Answers with Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Listen, folks, if you want to get a really great reading with Artie over the phone or in person or an Artie party, please call 877-ANGEL-02. And if you'd like to get a great reading with myself, same thing, over the phone, in person, or parties, my number is 908-500-1474. And if you'd like to call in this afternoon to be a part of our show, our number is 1-800-930-2819. So call us up, guys. All right. So uh, right now we have somebody from New York. New York? A New Yorker. Is her name Patty? Yes. Patty, are you there? Hello? Yes, hi. How are you, Sky? I'm good, sweetie. How are you? Hello? Is this Patty? I'm good. I'm good. From where? Patty from Greasy Point. Uh, I knew you'd know it. Uh-huh. See, I texted you. you. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good. You know, you I just want to see what was coming through. Voice. What, like a New Yorker? No, like a Patty. <laughs> like a Patty from New York. <laughs> a Patty wagon from New York. Well, they, they, I, I don't think they broke the mold after me, but they should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on, Pat? Uh, nothing. I just had received an email about something that you told me I would hear like three weeks. And I mean, I haven't looked back in any of the journals and I'm just wondering what you're getting off of it, what you're getting off of me. A lot of strange stuff is happening to me. Direction. You're like way too wide. Give us, give us uh, specific scenarios, Patty. Are you telling us that? Okay, well, uh, I just got something back from um, an estate. And you said that I, I would probably hear from something in three weeks. And I'm trying to, you know, battle my head, but, you know, I've had an episode with my back going on. So I really don't remember now because I've been distracted with that a little bit. But I just got well, something that was a little shocking. Well, it's not what you think it is. I don't think it's going to be, um, I don't think it's going to be that that kind of like uh sit down reading the will kind of deal where you're going to come into like umpteen millions of dollars. You know, I think it's going to be somewhere where uh, somebody thought of you and uh, wants to share something or give you something. Um, what do you think, my dear? I feel, I feel like um, you're going to, yeah, I feel like you're going to get une- unexpected gains 
and um, I'm getting delight. I'm getting happiness. I'm looking at the angel cards. Yeah. And I also feel like you want to know something. We discussed this before. I feel like there's going to be certain a certain relationship that's going to start to mend um, sooner than later within the next few months before the summertime is up. Um, you know, certain people who have been like kind of agitating you. Um, I feel like, um, you know, one, at least one, if not two relationships are going to really, really get better. And um, just be, I'm being told to tell you just to be patient and that financially things are slowly going to come about in your favor. Um, you might not get every, everything that you want, but, but as far as an improvement to uh, where you were or what could possibly happen, I don't feel like the worst is going to happen. I know that your energy is always, always worried about the, the scenario of the worst that could happen. And I don't feel like the worst is going to happen. I feel like uh, things are actually going to go your way financially, um, but not to the fullest extreme, but you're still going to a little better, a little better. You know, something that's going to sound crazy and right. not getting off the subject, but did you just buy a new pair of sneakers or are you thinking of buying sneakers? Because the spirits just showed me sneakers I'm, running. Sh I'm always thinking of sneakers, but I have really bright sneakers on now. Okay. Well, the thing is that it's, it could mean two things. Either you're running away from something or you're in the market to buy one, buy a pair, or you're, uh, or you already bought one. So I'm feeling though you, there's something, there's a problem that's disturbing you that you're trying to get away from or trying to heal up. Um, yeah, basically I, my marriage, I think, and my, okay. you know, the energy is not great in my house right now. But then I heard from something really weird last night, and like a guardian angel, and yeah. you know what. He, you know, something is going to really turn in my favor, and it's not even going to be doing anything with the estate. You know, I already know that th th there was a lot of deceit and all that. Yeah. You know, that's what's bothering Patty, me. It's not gonna, about the money. I'm not about the money. Pat. Patty, you're going to come out no, I know that. and I, I'm constantly flipping over the angel cards in your favor, and I got news for you. You're going to go, oh, my God, I never thought this is possible. I never thought this was possible. Me, but you're going to start I seeing that. you're saying that because that's what I just got yet last night. That you're saying that because it's going to be something not doing with the estate. No, you know what? The angels are telling me not to be afraid to drop a bad situation, and that's why I'm seeing running shoes. I'm seeing that you like you're actually. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid to run. From I like how you said that running. I really, I see me running now. You see yourself running, <laughs> but I'm telling yeah. you, you're getting yeah, yeah, okay. but I can't hang in there because I'm always about love. You know something? You're kind of getting the okay because you probably feel like you don't know if it's the right thing to do or not. But you're getting the okay to move on or to run away from the situation because it's really like really yeah. bothering you. You know, you're really having like maybe even stomach problems over anxiety. So I, you've gotten the okay to move on. You're like a crab that does Thank not you. like to let go unless if the arm is pulled off the body. So as much right, as then my like crew is going to grab you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, you know what? My, it's similar because I think there's such a connection between my, me and my daughter that she's going through the same thing. He's too old for her. He's already been to the, the family thing and the kids. And, you know, I think she's going through that right now, what Sky was just talking about. But then again, I feel like I'm going through it. So is that an extension of myself? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no, no, it's it's very prevalent in the house, and I'm feeling it by seeing the running shoes, and 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 they're giving you permission because you're kind of hesitant. Yeah. You're hesitating. You're not sure if you're making the right choice. You want to, but you don't well, want to. I feel bad. I always feel like I'm yes. bad for everybody. Like you won't do well if I leave. Right. But exactly. That's not easy to say. You're not responsible for everyone's help. life. Right, but you're getting the okay. Yeah. They're giving you the okay to Thank do you. it. Thank you. It's okay. You have to get over the guilt, Patty. Yep. That's it. It's guilt that keeps you from doing what Patty wants to do for herself. Right. And you just got to move on, Patty, because you are getting the okay, baby. Are you living with your Thank daughter you. now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I saw your daughter living with you, and she's going to be with you for a while. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh. No, I, mean that, I mean that really good, because I, I, she is my best friend. And I love her, and I am worried about her, you know. Of course. You're I'd love to have you guys come down the beach. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I, have four daughters, I have four daughters, and I adore them all. 
all of them. And they're all yeah. different in every single way. But you know what? You can't pinpoint one love to the other because I love them all. I love them. They're all different and I love them for who they are. And and it's a beautiful thing because I always have yep. somebody different to, and God to says you're right. get different opinions with. What? And God says you're right. Yes. Hey, Patty, yep. did you have you started to do more readings? Have you because I know that you're very intuitive. So um, have you done have you been able to allow yourself to do readings for the public? Not for the public. I'm taking a genius intelligence core program right now. And you know what? I, I, I first of all, I have a problem taking even money from people who don't have anything. Huh? You know, I just well, want to get people cool. up and running. We all, well, I got over that. <laughs> only you. I yeah. got over no, that. No, you know what? You have to at this at this point. You have to. But you know what? If I don't have to, then I just have to do it for the purpose and the cause. You know what I'm I saying? Mean, and that's fine. And that's fine. Um, you you know know what, if, I, if I couldn't eat and I can't pay my rent, then I would do that because I have to. But because right. I can't do that, God's put me in a place of that. I'm doing it just to get get the program up and running and get it right. Good for you, Pat. Where does this cat come in? That's Gladys. That's my mother-in-law. Really? Th that's well, about Gladys, the is, yeah, that's, Gladys is a tough cookie. Gladys is a tough cookie. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing yeah, this cat. She, really, she, she really never liked me much, right? Even though no, I was always very good I was going to say, the, the way I'm picturing her is her claws are out and her teeth are up. You know, her lips are up. <laughs> yeah, but it comes to me or her daughter it. for taking it. Huh? Is it, is, it, is, it because, is it me towards me or towards her daughter doing what she did? And I, and I love the I son. Not, her daughter. My I son is a, her daughter. My husband's a victim of this. I think it's her daughter. Patty. I'm feeling it's her daughter. Patty, have you have you ever gotten your tea leaves read? Have I ever gotten what? You ever gotten your tea leaves I thought you said something read. rubbed. Oh, I thought you said, did you have, have your leaves rubbed? Yeah, did you ever have your leaves rubbed? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> no. Tell me how that feels. No, you want to know something? I have a feeling that you're going to get, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that you're going to become close friends with somebody who reads tea leaves. And I also get the impression that you have the ability to do two things. Number one, I feel like you would be great at learning astrology, and I feel like you would be dynamite at learning about uh, reading tea leaves. And I feel very strong about that. Really? Well, yeah. you know what? I do take everything you say to heart. And I like Sky and she too. I feel like she's dead on. I mean, you picked on it dead, dead on months ago. But I definitely would love to meet you, Sky. Artie, uh, Artie you met me and my nutty friends. We're gonna come, you're going to come here soon, right? Okay. Sky, he'll right. take me with you. But we got to go, baby. I'd love to talk to you for hours. Okay, you got it. We have to go to a commercial break. So... It was great speaking to you, and God bless you with all your great decisions coming up. And you too. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, everybody, stick around because Sky and I, we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Tune in to the Angels and Answer Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Join in on one of the most life-transforming adventures in personal expansion and world service in each of our upcoming shows. 
you're going to have the opportunity to join thousands as we focus healing energy to elevate and balance our world. This is a chance for like-minded individuals like you and I to join forces with light workers all over the globe as we light the way for peace, harmony, and a world driven by love. You'll also learn about magical innate abilities that you can develop and use to make your dreams come true. Joy Elaine, author of The Joy Chronicles, invites you to join her and millions of others working with the Galactic Masters, Angels, and the Ashtar Command as they assist humanity and planet Earth to achieve their ultimate destination of ascension. For more information, visit joyelaine.com. That's joy, E-L-A-I-N-E.com. You, yes, you, can be the highest version of yourself. Wellness coach and natural beauty expert, Dr. Agnes Frankel, is on a mission to help you play the game of your life. Win in vibrancy, health, and beauty. Because you deserve it. Dr. Agnes goes beyond the limits in her personal coaching sessions to revolutionize health and wellness. Now is the time to unleash your true power. For more information, visit dragnesfrankel.com. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Angels and Answers. You're with Artie and Sky, And we have a few more minutes to give to you and to speak with you. And uh, there is uh, before we get to Patty from New Jersey, there was somebody who wrote in and says, you know, my husband Thomas uh, passed away. Um, what was that? Ten years ago from ALS. Does he have a message for me? And what I was getting is what he used to say or where the hell is this and where the hell is that? And where did I put this and where did I put that? And this is what I'm hearing as far as uh, coming from your husband as a little affirmation. Um, it's either he used to be like that or you have been pretty absent minded as far as where have you been putting things. But that's what I'm getting. So that's his kind of his little hello to you. You know what? <clears throat> I'm getting that um, he's grateful that you tried so hard to understand what he wanted in his latter part of the disease. And he wanted you to know how frustrated he was, but he says, you were wonderful. He says he thanks. And there was somebody else involved too. Um, there was somebody else, uh, either a caretaker or a child. And he's very, very, uh, he never expected it. He was very impressed. And he was, he felt very badly that he had to put his family through this and he wants to thank everybody. And he has just sent you guys something that you weren't expecting. And he wants you to know that that was from him, something good that came for you, either money or, or found jewelry or, or something that was, was really important to you guys. And you found it and, or you got it. And he wants you to know it was from him. There's also something about shuffling of slippers. I, I felt like, uh, you know, when he was walking, I keep on I keep on seeing like a shuffling of while walking around in his slippers and not picking up his feet or you either you've been dragging your feet. But I'm getting like a shuffling of that uh, of that sound when people, um, uh, you know, walk when they walk and, and they're shuffling their 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 his walk. He was shuffling his walk. But right now we have uh, Patty from New Jersey. How you doing, Patty? Hi, Artie. How are you? Doing great, honey. What can we do you for? Hi, Pat. Um, I'm What's little, up? a little bit um, upset about my kids being a mom. I've been divorced a little over three and a half years. And, uh, of course, in the midst of, of changes still, you know, wanting a new job, yada, yada, yada. But my three kids are, are older. There's... Uh, one in college, one who's just about to start technical school because he did one year of college and wasn't thrilled with it, and uh, one 
who's the overachiever in high school. And I am a little worried, especially about the oldest and the middle, my son and the oldest daughter. Um, do you have any feelings like they're just going to be staying on the right path and, and being successful? Because, you know, at 20 and 22, they, they just sometimes don't make great decisions. Right. And I've just I can't been really imagine. staying up late at night worrying about them. You know, <laughs> I feel that the second son... The first son, the middle son. The, the middle one. The middle one is the, the middle son. one is giving you most trouble, trouble, right? Well, he, he's kind of trying to find himself, so I finally yeah, convinced well. him into um, doing the the tech school. He's going in for computers, and he's going to start in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm feeling I, that he I, has. I, the, he he's trying to he's trying to make the right decisions, but he's not in with good people. I don't feel that he's in with with. Uh, with anybody who's really good. I think they're trying to sway him down the wrong path. And I think you're he's exactly trying right. To... Huh? She said that's I think exactly, you're exactly right. right. He was just saying the other day, just the other day, he said, mom, I, I need new friends. These guys are, they're going nowhere. I need new friends. He's trying, he's he's his trying friends to since like... he was nine, you know? Yeah. And he's he's gonna trying be 20. to do the right thing, but he's really being pushed. And you know how peer pressure is. So it's worrying me. You know, so if you can get him yeah. out of there, you know, if you can get him away from those people and, and try to explain better decisions, uh, I don't think it's going to work. I think he's going to have to experience some uh, little minor disasters before he really gets his act together. I feel like um, what, right. what what's a great thing for you to do is try to be committed by trying to spend quality time with each one of them, uh, you know, whether it be going well, to the movies yeah. or going out going out to dinner with them or whatnot, but just to really spend quality time, but don't spend the time talking about the problems, but try to be more on the lighter side while you're with each other and just showing the nurturing time or talk about the good times or just try to keep more on the lighter side of life. Um, and I feel like that's that little bit, believe it or not, is going to help. And, um, and they'll figure it out. They will figure it out themselves. But um, like I said, I, I'm seeing that it would be extremely healthy for you to share quality, playful time with them, even if you're just walking around the mall or, uh, you know, doing something together. If you right. went if you if you were even able to ask one of them, hey, you know, can, would you mind taking a walk with me, you know, around the park or around the block and just, you know, just to share some that connection, quality time. But uh, not like every time you're talking to them, you're talking about, oh, I'm worried, I'm concerned, I'm worried, I'm concerned. Talk about be right. on the more lighter side, and it's really going to make – you're going to see it's going to make a difference. Right. And, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Right. One of your kids has a car that has a little slight knock in it, and uh, that's a transmission I, issue. I, okay. Hello? Funny you mention that. My oldest just bought a car uh, the day before Christmas Eve, and the engine light went on. And they're mm -hmm. still working on it. She didn't make a car payment yet, <laughs> you know, yeah. and they're working on her car right now. Well, it's a transmission problem so you, and they can't find out what's going on with it. But she's also not telling them that there's like a slight knocking when she's when she's coming to a halt or when she puts it into gear. So tell her to tell them that when she puts it into gear, she feels like a slight knocking because it is a transmission problem. Okay. I'll take that to the bank. Well, okay. in this case, you and, don't want to take it to the bank. <laughs> or you know what? You could yeah, maybe, right. maybe exactly. What? I'm sorry. He's, nothing. I said, Artie, you said you don't want to take it to the bank, which is right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you right. know what? You may be able to, since it's only in December, you may be able to get out of that deal if there's something wrong with it. See how many like, days? Like a lemon law of some yeah. sort. So right. Usually but she's got a full-time because... job and goes to college, and she goes, but I need a car. I don't have time to go find another one, you know? Yeah, well, so she could screw herself if she doesn't kids. take care of it. Right. But I'm just telling you, they're going to, even though, even if they might seem a little resistant to you to try to spend time with you, you know, because they're busy with their friends or whatnot, you have to like try to make it a point because that persistence on your part, um, again, I'm seeing that, especially, and more towards your daughter, more, even more so with your sons. Um, I feel like uh, this is a time of bonding. You know what? I feel yeah. as though... And it's, I, it's I, funny. I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. No, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say uh, all of my kids, they, 
I, I've always said they all should have been only children. Like, individually, <laughs> it's great. It gets them together. It's like, you know, Darkest craziness. Time. I know, I know. But, I've had plenty. Of... Listen, I, the angels are telling me, Sunday dinner, make it a mandatory that everybody is home for Sunday dinner. And I'm seeing 2.30. And that's what we've gotten away from. That's what we've huh? gotten away from. Yeah, I well, you got to get it back. That's what we've away from. That's what I always loved. Well, you have to get yeah. it back. That's going to be tremendous. Or tremendous eat, help. Give them, give them at least the choice, with the exception of this Sunday, because it's Super Bowl Sunday. But if you do it, yeah, if exactly. you do it in this, <laughs> right, if you do it within the sense of, listen, I'm going to give you a choice. Either you can get together for, for a brunch or get together for dinner. But uh, to try to get, you know, everyone back together again, um, it really is. It's going to make a difference. It's all about, you know, coming together. But right now we have to end our show. And it was a great pleasure sharing time with you, Patty. Absolutely, Patty. Please call back Thank sometime. Thank you so Katie. much. Let us know. Great. Stay well. It. Thank yes. you so much. You're welcome. All right, everybody. So listen up from my mouth to God's ears. May God bless all of you with lots of love, health, happiness, and prosperity. Always speak with your angels and the Holy Spirit because they are on your side. And uh, angels can only intervene into your life if you ask them. So uh, the only time an angel can intervene into your life when you don't ask is if you're in a do or die situation. But they're always there for you. Absolutely. And may God bless all of you till next week, folks. We send you out our love, our energy. And our prayers. And our prayers. Stay well, everyone. See you next week. Goodbye. Bye. You've been listening to Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with clairvoyants Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Tune in every Thursday for this great two-hour show at 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And remember to call in at 800-930-2819 to get answers from your guardian angels and loved ones. Artie and Sky have helped thousands of people with remarkable accuracy as they tune in, use their intuitive gifts and inner guidance, and communicate with people's angels and loved ones who have passed passed on. To schedule your session, call Artie at 877-ANGEL-02 and visit artiehoffman.com and call Sky at 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com for personal or group readings. And tune in next week for this fabulous hit show.